Hey everyone, this is Shivani and you're watching Mental Dental. Dr. Ryan and I have come up with a series of videos to help internationally trained dentists navigate the US dental school application process. Today we're going to learn about how to get your credentials evaluated. Now, why do we need to get our credentials evaluated? Having studied in different countries, the scoring and grading system differs from country to country. So when the US schools need to compare two profiles based on their academic capabilities, it becomes very difficult for them. They ask you to get your credentials evaluated so that they can compare the academic backgrounds of their candidates. Now, how do you get your credentials evaluated? There are organizations known as ECE or WES that help you with it. Now, ECE is the most commonly used and most widely accepted organization. So what, that, what it does is, it takes your scores, grades and percentage and converts it into a US equivalent GPA. This helps the US dental schools understand your readiness for their program. So now let's get to it. To begin, type ece.org and this official page should open up now you will be given an option to order a report click on that this page opens up where they give you an option to log in or create an account since we do not have an account we will first create one who do we represent individual now this page asks for your personal information. Make sure the details that you enter on this page match with your government issued ID because these details will be verified when you appear for your INBDE. Now enter your first name, last name, your email address, select a password that you can remember and the next field is mandatory saying how did you hear about ECE so if you heard through social media or any other uh, source you can select that you can choose why did you choose ECE um, you can go for required by university employer or licensing board you can check this box and create an account now you'll see this page where your email verification will be needed once you've verified your account you will be allowed to log in after you log in you will see an option to choose the kind of report that you want if you're applying to US dental schools please select US evaluation report and start your US application on the next page it will reflect the information that you put in in the last page it will ask you for your date of birth make sure that whatever you enter matches your government issued ID and it will ask you for your unofficial copies and your official sealed copies so I'm gonna select one you can select how many ever you want it will ask you for a delivery address If you are in the US, please select United States. If not, if you are in a foreign country, you can select the same. Depending on that, you will be charged for a courier service. Um, courier to international countries such as India would be around $65. It will allow, also allow you to track where your package is. 
after filling in your personal details they'll ask you if you want to send the EC report to any of the institutions uh, it will come with an additional fee of $30 plus delivery charge so if you want to select any institutions you can select or type in the name here and select it now moving on to the purpose of evaluation report since we need the ECE for registering for the INBDE and uh, applying to dental schools in the US we would select further education then select education selected as graduate and field of study as dentistry coming to the next page is the report type so we want to select the course by course report so it costs you around $195 and you can select the report and hit continue now it will ask you for your education history from your post secondary or your uh, 10th boards or institution name city if you've graduated and the date of attendance name of the degree they give you an option to mention that if your name appears differently on your educational documents as in case of some women the name changes after they get married so if you want to acknowledge that you can use this field and you can mention if your name appears differently or not and you can save the education history once you've saved your education history it will appear in this box now keep entering uh, your education till the last degree that you have received and then click on continue now comes a very crucial part of submitting your documents so it differs from country to country so I have selected India now they as required documents they have asked for post secondary level documents which is grade 10 and grade 12 certificates now in your post secondary documents you need your degree diploma or your provisional certificate now what is a provisional certificate in case you've not received your degree certificate you receive a provisional certificate statement of marks is your transcript that your university will um, provide you with and last but not the least your internship completion certificate now how do you send them you can either send them electronically or via post if you want to send them yourself you can send your original documents directly to EC if you think you do not want to send your original documents you can ask your university to send attested copies in a sealed envelope now we'll see how can you send documents electronically to now if you want to send documents electronically there are various electronic document services known as Trenchial, True Copy, World Document Service, Worldwide Transcript what they do is they uh, take documents securely from your university and send them to ECE and they take a charge for it if you don't want to go through with that you can also ask your institution to send a secure electronic document directly to ECE mail at the rate ece.org but this email should be from your institutional portal or a publicly verifiable email address of the university it cannot be a an email from an affiliated college or 
from anyone's personal email. The institution has to include your name and your ECE reference number. Also, if your documents are not in English, you have to translate those documents in English before submitting them. Original documents sent by the applicant will be returned with the complete evaluation report. So whatever documents that you send, if you want to send originals, they are going to return it to you. Finally, check this box which says you have read and understood the do documentation required and you want to submit the required documents to ECE. Now the last step includes instructions. So if you are sending your documents yourself, your original documents, you need to attach a document matching form. However, if your institute is sending documents directly to ECE, this form is not required. Also, whether you are sending it or your uni university is sending them, please make sure that the ECE reference number is mentioned on all envelopes and correspondence that you send to ECE. This is the address where the documents are to be sent either by you or by your university. What you can do is take a printout and cut it out and paste it on whatever you are sending so that there are no spelling errors. Select continue. At the end it asks you if you want to go for an additional optional rush service. So what a rush service is, in case you need the documents or the report immediately, they give you an option to order them within 3 to 5 business days and they will charge you say $80 for it. If you do not want a rush service, please select no rush service. Now one last time, it will allow you to review all your information the type of report that you are ordering, your education history and the order total. This may differ from person to person on the number of copies that you are ordering. So this is not the amount that everyone should see, it will be different for everybody and click on continue. In the end, it will ask you to sign a customer agreement. Please make sure that you go through it, understand it and then click this box and sign your name and submit. Now you have to pay for the report. If you have a coupon code, you can go ahead and enter it and apply. If not, you can select the mode of payment, it can be credit or debit card and continue with your payment. Lastly, if you still have any doubts, you can always reach out to the customer service at ECE with clicking on this bubble and you can speak to their customer care executive also or type in the questions and they have some very frequently asked questions thank you guys so much for watching till the end i hope this video helped you and i will be back with another video to help you navigate this process